Welcome to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are so glad that you have joined us for another week uh, as we continue to look into the book of Psalms and chapter 36, Psalm 36. And uh, so far we have looked at uh, the depravity of man. And uh, we today come to the last two verses, verses 11 and 12. But before we look into verses 11 and 12, we want to look at the anatomy of uh, the wicked. So in verse 1, uh, the psalmist talks about the eyes of the wicked. And he does so again in verse 2, they are eyes. And then in verse 3, he talks about the mouths of the wicked. And uh, verse 4, he talks about uh, the sleep of the wicked. They are beds, and on their beds, they are thinking evil. And now as we come to verse 11, he's going to continue in that uh, same uh, thought. May the foot of the proud not come against me, nor the hand of the wicked drive me away. So here he's going to talk about the foot of the wicked and the hand of the wicked. So a very comprehensive description of uh, the depravity uh, of man. The eyes, the mouth, their beds, and now the foot and the hand. May the foot of the proud not come up against me. That's another way of saying, Lord, may not the, the wicked trip me up. May they not uh, trample on me and uh, trip me up. May I not fall victim to temptation, sin, and compromise. Why? Because I want to be near God. I want to be pure. I want to be holy. And I don't want these uh, wicked people uh, to set traps and uh, make me to fall, uh, make me to stumble. And uh, let not those who fight uh, against God triumph over those who desire to cleave to him. And uh, that's a very valid prayer for us today too, that as we are surrounded by people who are contaminated, who are wicked and evil, that... Uh, we will not get contaminated by them. And uh, the psalmist also says, the hand of the wicked drive me away from God. The wicked are always waiting to take us away from God. They will uh, try to uh, introduce to us a different lifestyle. They want to uh, show us uh, the pleasures of sin and they want us to indulge in those pleasures. And the psalmist is saying, oh God, may not the hand of the wicked drive me away from you. If I have experienced the pleasure of communion with God, my deep desire is that I may never be removed from him. But Satan will do all what he can to move us away from God and he will use people. And uh, some of these people might look very nice, but uh, their heart is uh, sinful and depraved. And before we realize it, they will take us on a different path. Verse 12, see how the evildoers lie fallen, thrown down, not able to rise. Ultimately, that's a picture of hell. And uh, the psalmist uh, said, that uh, on a temporary basis, uh, the wicked might seem to prosper. They may seem to be getting away with all their evil actions. But there is a day coming, judgment day, when God is going to deal uh, with them. The final overthrow of all the workers of iniquity will be the everlasting triumph of the glorified saints. Now, uh, we must be careful at this point we don't rejoice if a particular enemy falls. In fact, we must feel profound sorrow for these people because they are on a slippery slope 
they are headed to a Christless eternity, and we must do all what we can to reach them with the good news of the gospel. And of course, it all begins with prayer. Mention by name people who are living a lifestyle uh, that is uh, detrimental, that is displeasing to God, and uh, pray that God would uh, uh, awaken uh, the consciousness of sin in them and lead them to repentance and to salvation found in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's very easy to write off all the wicked people, but we need to pray for them and we need to do what we can to sow the seed of the gospel in their heart, trusting the Holy Spirit to uh, cause it to come alive and for them to turn from darkness to light and from death to life. So the wicked will never cease. They will always be there. They will always surround us. And it's a challenge that we uh, need to be salt and light in their midst. And we need to pray for our own personal protection from their negative influences. But we also need to pray for them that they will turn to the Lord. Uh, this is a beautiful psalm, Psalm 36. He talks a lot about the depravity of man, but we also learn at least three times he talked about the love of God. So let's redirect our focus and let's focus upon the Lord and his love that will never fail. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.